Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Zendex tickets from Google Sheets automatically. So the idea is that if a new data is entered in Google Sheets, automatically a new ticket will be created in Zendex. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Zendex. So that is why we will be using an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Zendex. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Zendex account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter some data in a row in my Google Sheet and see whether we have a ticket in Zendex. So let me do that. So we have a guy called as John. Okay. And this is the email address of John. So John is basically the requester at the rate gmail.com. Okay. And the ticket is uh, upgrading Mac. Macs are becoming slower. So this is the ticket upgrading Mac and the subject is Macs are becoming slower. So let's have a look. Do we have a ticket concerning the same? So this is the page where the tickets are created or tickets are found and it has been assigned to a person called as Jerry Macware. So let's have a look. Do we have a ticket of uh, upgrading Macs or something? Yes, we do have a ticket of upgrading Mac, a ticket called as upgrade Mac, upgrading Mac. And the requester is John. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheets to Zendesk? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Zendesk. Now, before I show you the steps, how about I give you a little perspective about the integration process. Okay, so these are the steps that we have to follow. So in the step one, what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, integrate Pabli Connect and Google Sheets with help of webhook URL. So if you are worried about the webhook URL, you just simply copy this from uh, Pabli Connect and paste it into Google Sheets. Now in the second step, all you have to do is enter some data in Google Sheets and make sure that data is collected in Pabli Connect. And after that, using the same data, that is step three, we are going to create a ticket in Zendex. So now we have a perfect data integration between Google Sheets and Zendex with help of Pabli Connect. Now the awesome thing that you have to understand is that once you create a workflow that has integrated Google Sheets and Zendex, all you have to do is just sit back and relax. Because some data is entered in Google Sheets, automatically a new ticket will be created in Zendex every time. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p a w b l y.com. So you have a question, why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you have Google Sheets and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. Okay, so this is the website, pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here, you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account, so I will be directed to the app section of Pabli. So this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am planning to give it as Google Sheets. To Zendex. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. And let me just straight up click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now we want to send the data from Google Sheets. So let me just straight away make it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. Okay, so these are the steps that you have to follow. Okay, first of all, let me just uh, make the trigger event as new spreadsheet row. So these are the steps you have to follow to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. Okay, so the overall gist is we are just going to integrate uh, in the first step, we are going to integrate Google Sheets to Pabli Connect. So these are the steps. Okay, or you can just uh, follow my lead. So what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to show you everything from scratch. So that is why I'm going to build a new Google Sheet. So this is how we build the Google Sheet. Let me just go to uh, go to Google Sheet. And let me just straight away click on blank. Okay, so what we have to do here is uh, I'm just going to uh, 
copy the columns like the requester requester email ticket and the subject so this is because i'm too lazy to uh, manually type all this data okay so okay let me just add this okay so we have the columns requester requester email ticket and subject now i'm just going to uh, name this sheet as uh, syntax ticket creation okay so to begin the process of integration first of all click on add-ons so when you click on add-ons you will find an add-on called as public connect webhooks now uh, public connect webhooks is an add-on that i have installed in my system now since you are beginning fresh public connect webhooks might not have been installed yet so first of all just click on get add-ons so when you click on get add-ons you will find google workspace marketplace in front of you in the search just type public connect webhooks public connect webhooks this one Okay, so as you can see, public and webhooks is an add-on that I have installed in my system. So all you have to do is just click on this uh, add-on and public and webhooks will be just installed in your Google Sheet also. Now after installing public Connect webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again, after installing public and webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So let me just cancel this, going back to add-ons, public Connect webhooks, just click on initial setup. So this is the window of initial setup and we have to mention the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So the webhook URL is this. Let me just go to public connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay. Then we have to mention the trigger column. The trigger column is column D. Okay. And let me just straight away click on submit. So we have mentioned the trigger column as well as we have mentioned the column D. So you must be thinking why did we mention the trigger column as column D. Now column D as you can see is the last data entry column. Okay. Column D is our last data entry column. So uh, always the last data entry column is the trigger column. Okay. Column D is our last data entry column. That is why it is also the trigger column. Now there is one minor thing you have to do. Go back to public and webhooks. Just click on any send on event. So this will keep on sending the data whenever column D is filled. And public connect is now ready to receive the data so let us make some entry so we have a requester called as Elon okay and this is the email address Elon Musk 78 at the rate gmail.com the ticket is uh, v1 rockets failed the subject is uh, too much hydrogen so this is the ticket created by Elon Musk. Okay, so uh, let's have a look uh, since uh, column D has been filled. Let's have a look if whether Public Connect has captured the data because the trigger column has been rigged. Yes, we do have the details. We have the request to that is Elon. And uh, this is the email address Elon Musk 78 gmail.com. We have the same email address and then we have the ticket that is V1 rocket field. And then we have the subject too much hydrogen. And then we have one more thing that is row index that is two this is because this is row number two okay so we have got all the details now using all these details we are going to create a ticket and this is how you do it you go to the action window and you select syntax okay syntax it is now in the action event how about we make it as create ticket and simply just click on connect we are going with a new connection so i have to enter the username so this is the username my username of syntax okay so i'm just uh, entering the email with which i have registered into my syntax account now uh, there is an important thing that you have to know that uh, before you enter the syntax password you should make sure that you have password access api and this is how it's done so first of all you just go to uh, the settings okay and in the settings you will find api can you see api okay so this is my api and make sure that your password access is enabled and token access is also enabled okay in my case both are enabled and let me just straight away enter the password so this is the password with which i have logged into my sendex account okay and last not the least we have to enter the subdomain so this is my subdomain i'm just going to copy this okay so let me just copy this so this is the subdomain do not include the http or the sendex part copy this and simply paste it here okay just click on save 
So when you click on save, a set of fields has appeared in front of you. Now let's start mapping. We have the subject as um, the ticket. The subject will be actually the ticket. Okay. The ticket will be our subject. Actually, this is the ticket that is V1 rocket failed. Then we have the assignee. I'm just going to give it to uh, Thompson Grease. Collaborators, let's make it as Jerry Maguire. And we can ignore the collaborator email. The group is a support type. And the requester name is Elon. Okay. And this is the requester email address. And we have mapped it. Okay. We are just mapping all of them one by one. And this is the description too much hydrogen. Now we also have one minor problem. Okay. That is a sharing agreement. So just uh, copy this and paste it here. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we paste it, toggle this to the right and paste it here. We don't have any data regarding the sharing agreement. So I'm just uh, making sure that this is part is skip. Now by the brand by default it is showing it as steward because uh, this is the name of the company that is steward tech okay so we have filled all the details now the priority i'm keeping it as urgent we don't have any data regarding the due date the status is new we don't have any data regarding the tax so if you want you can add the data of uh, these fields like the status the tags as well as uh, the collaborator emails but i'm happy with uh, these details at this point all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to create the ticket Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let's have a look. Do we have a ticket? Okay, so I think it was uh, for Jerry Maguire. Uh, actually, I don't think it was for Jerry Maguire. It was uh, this ticket was uh, sponsored by sponsored to uh, Thompson Grease. So let's have a look. Do we have a ticket for uh, Thompson Grease? Okay, all on so all tickets. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the assignee is uh, Thompson Grease and V1 rocket field. Excellent. So the presence of this data confirms this ticket confirms we have a successful integration between Google Sheets and Zentex. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize this window and I'm going to minimize this window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you integrated Public Connect to Zentex. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Zentex. Awesome. So the important thing you have to know is once you have created a workflow to integrate Google Sheets and Zentex, all you have to do is just enter some details in Google Sheet and automatically a new data or a new ticket will be created in Zentex every time.